Hi Taurus and welcome to your reading with me Jackie here on My Mini Tarot. Uh, of course this is your October reading 2022 and uh, yeah I would say this is for of course Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. All right, so let's get on with your reading, Taurus. So as always, in October, I tend to pull the um, Black Mirror Oracle. And uh, being the month of October, of course, Halloween month. Uh, got my Halloween hat on here. <laughs> I was sort of, I, I will start wearing it as well for any private readings that I do, personal private readings. Um, yeah, so... Let's get on with the reading to us and see what we have for you, all right, our darlings? So you start here with the Black Mirror card, of course, and it says, uh, there we go, it says, I won't cry for you. Okay, so this is, uh, let me show you the card, yeah. So this is uh, all about creating some sort of closure in your life, all right? You need to let go of something and set yourself free to set yourself free so this is something that you've done i think in the past in the recent past maybe uh something that was painful it was hard it was uh, it was definite but it was also necessary okay taurus so yeah nothing too too heavy there but just something that you've needed to uh just let go of okay so let's move on what do we have okay so we have the mirror there we go we've got the mirror card and this says mirroring each other self-image relationship sorry let's have a closer look self-image relationships reflect our wounds introspection okay so that's the uh mirror card so i would say oh it just flipped out of my hands wow you feeling clumsy a bit there taurus <laughs> So you're with someone who reminds you or is quite similar to someone that you uh, knew in the past, I feel here for you, Taurus. You share similar experiences. You have a lot in common, okay? So uh, you're probably helping each other in some way as well, all right? So that's what we have here. Um, next you have... <clears throat> From the romance angels you have make the effort okay so this card says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take okay so that's all about sort of making the effort uh, maybe in a connection that you're in at the moment and next moving along so i'm going to go through all the cards so moving along you also have this card i think from the shaman uh, oracle and this is called root girl the disowned self okay so the need for acceptance and love and being loved for who you really are all right so being sort of loved and accepted for the person you really are okay taurus so that's a lovely message there from that uh card so let's move on. Okay, so from the angel answers, you have this, the uh, situation will improve. There we go. So whatever you're uh, dealing with, whatever you'd be dealing with going into the future, whatever's happening in your life at the moment, the situation that you're in will improve in some way. Okay, Taurus? Okay, so let's move on. So now I pulled a selection of cards um, that came out for you from the Lenormand deck. And the first card that came out from you, uh, for you <clears throat> is this one. It's the Labyrinth. Now, the Labyrinth is a card of trial and error. It's also about twists and turns and dead ends. And it's also going back to square one. So I feel here with somebody... Uh, from your past I feel that you've you have come up come up against some dead ends here with someone I think you've give a lot you know a lot of your time and energy to someone in the past and uh, it maybe they've been a little bit of a mystery a bit of a puzzle to you as well 
So there is some sort of disconnection here with uh, somebody I feel from the past. And this is what you need, some sort of closure you've you've done, not what you need now. I feel that you've this has happened. So I feel that you've uh, you've done some sort of closure on this chapter of your life in some way. OK, because next we have the four of coins will be four. So I do feel that you have given uh, to some to, to a situation in your life in the past. And um, yeah, it's about holding on. You've I feel that you've holded on to this uh, situation, whatever it is for you, Taurus. I think you've hold, held on to it for long enough and it's time to release to release something here all right no come making sense um next because we do have as i said that mirror card mirroring each other so you are you are in a connection or you have been in the recent past in a connection where you, or you've met somebody you know and whoever this is for you um i mean it doesn't have to be um a, a love relationship it, it could also be a friendship or something else you know something something else there in your life because you do have from the normans you have the fox okay so we know the fox in this deck can be a little bit cunning sly uh, crafty clever you know it can be a deceptive energy it can be a little bit underhanded manipulative and stuff like that but I do feel with this person that you are that you mirror each other. I do feel that these are sort of maybe traits in the past that maybe you both share in some way. You know, where you've had to sort of get by or do what you've had to do to get by, you know, to survive. So that's how I'm feeling here with this Fox card. All right. So sort of similar experiences here. Also a very smart and shrewd and clever energy as well. All right. So uh, you have this in common as well with this person. Uh, moving on, we do have the four of wands. So uh, maybe this was uh, something that you celebrated together, you know, whoever this person is. So some sort of uh, celebration in some way. Or it could be that you have recently... Uh, cohabited with this person so you you may have uh, recently uh, moved in with them or they've moved in with you you know uh, wherever that fits for you Taurus all right so that's how I'm feeling there with that card okay so moving on the next card you have so this is sort of going on now we do have the clouds okay so remember clouds always clear you know, we always get a clear sky. They don't last forever. So um, this is all about confusion. It can be a card of confusion, the clouds, unclear thinking and uncertainty. And uh, for you, I feel this is just uh, a little bit of uncertainty here in the present moment about something. Uh, I feel it's something to do with the change because I know Torians are not lovers of change. They do like the familiar and um, maybe something, some sort of change is just making you feel a little bit uncertain in some ways. All right. So under that card I pulled from the Light Seers for this one is the High Priestess. This is telling you to, um, of course, use that intuition, you know, very, uh, I'd say with, it, with this, make the effort. So I feel with this card, as something, oh, what was it that come, came to mind when I see this card come over? I think this stuff, that's what I wanted to say, this stuff here that you do keep to yourself. Um, yeah, there's, there's certain things that you keep under wraps here. But maybe you don't talk about so there is a sort of a mystery here a sort of yeah a sort of mystery here with this energy and it's also about uh doing what feels right as well for you 
Taurus, all right? So, you know, with that uncertainty there, just do, just follow, as I say, follow your gut, you know, use that intuition, you know, what feels right for you at the moment, okay? Right, so the next card we have is the mice. Of course, as I say, the mice could be a card of a uh, theft. It can be card of steel, you know, something is stolen, a theft. It can be a pest. Um, but it's also a card of worry and a little nervousness. Something that's eating away at you slowly but surely. You know, it's just something that may be bugging you in some way um and i feel it is something to do with your um i i feel because for some of you remember this isn't going to be for everyone but i'm just feeling with this energy i think you've been used to um maybe you've been used to being on your own for a while and uh, when someone comes in you're having to clear up their mess or you know clear up after them or you know, remember we have that four of ones, which I said might be uh, somebody that uh, has moved in with you or you've moved in with them. But it's about dealing with some sort of mess in some way or something that you feel is just a little bit messy. I mean, some of you could be dealing with mice. <laughs> you might have mice in the house. So, you know, make sure the cat's doing his job. <laughs> uh, yeah, so may maybe something's a little bit messy at the moment. And it does have something to do with, because uh, your card came out, Taurus, of course, here in the Art of Tarot. So we do have the Hierophant, of course, a card of a spiritual card as well, and also a card of teaching, learning. Um, yeah, learning from something. So you have learned from something here. And with that root girl, the disowned self, this is this is about um, accepting yourself now, you know, sort of moving on now and accepting who you really are. Uh, don't um, don't put yourself down in any way. You know, you're just worth as much as anybody else. All right, Taurus. Maybe something's been eaten with that mice card being there. Maybe something that has uh, been eating at you. Uh, you know, just something that may be bugging you in some way. Or eating at you slowly, you know. So don't don't dwell on it. You know, whatever it is, I just feel that don't, you know, don't sort of uh, be too hard on yourself. That's what I'm going to say. Don't be too hard on yourself, Taurus. All right. Okay, the situation will improve. Of course it will, because I do see quite prominently that you have some sort of travel on the horizon here, because from the Lenormand, you do have the ship card. Um, the ship card is can be a long journey. If it is a journey, you are taking a long journey, because under that card, we do have the Knight of Wands. So he's a, he's one to travel, you know, he's a good traveller. He likes travelling to different places and foreign countries and stuff like that. So I do feel there is some sort of long distance travel coming up for you. And that's where the situation will improve, especially if you're taking something um, further afield, maybe your business, um, you know, your work, your business or something to that, that extent. Um, yeah, so... Uh, that's how I feel there with those cards. So I do feel some of you are travelling. If not, it's it's a journey you've taken personally. You know, you personally have taken a long journey uh, through your life and uh, what you've had to deal with in the past. Okay, so you've come a long way. Okay, Taurus, you've come a long way. And for others of you, you know, it's just about it may be a bit of expansion and taking something somewhere else or just taking uh, maybe just taking a vacation and holiday in some way. All right. Um, what I do want to say, because at the bottom of the deck, we do have the uh, we do have the bridges. I mean, all you're the last earth sign that I'm reading for and all three of you got the uh, bridges card okay so it's about overcoming something so you have overcome something 
and that was the same message as well for Virgo and Capricorn, exactly the same. So you have overcome something. Remember uh, the bottom of this deck, I do see two cards here. So you do have your card here as well, which is the King of Coins. So this is all about your uh, finances as well, your stability. Um, taking care of business, I would say definitely taking care of business, you know, having money in the bank and something, and something to fall back on. And also, we also have here temperance. Okay, so remember, whatever you're doing, do it in moderation, Taurus. All right. And um, you've come to a place now where, where you are, because I do see that. I think it's a dove there coming out of the other cup. So that is, uh, this is the after tarot. So this is for your own, uh, something for your own peace of mind, or, you know, just this peace within yourself with the work that you've done you know whether it's on yourself in your business or even in your personal relationships all right you just want peace now peace in your life that's how i'm feeling with that card anyway oh excuse me okay so um lovely you know Pretty positive, I would say, quite positive there for you, Taurus. And um, I do hope you enjoyed the reading. As I say, it's not going to resonate with everyone. So um, just keep that in mind. And uh, I'll be back very soon with a reading for you for November. And uh, as I say, God bless, take care and look after yourself and good luck, Taurus. Bye.